It is January 26, 2016, and I'm here to talk about a uh, modern day name, the ninth planet, Planet X, biblical name, Planet Nibura. Uh, Nibura is the name of the planet that was in the story of the fallen angel Lucifer, who was banished from Earth. Um, if you want to know more about that, you can go look it up through the biblical stuff. Uh, modern day name, Planet X. Um, Caltech, NASA, and other world organizations all have confirmed that Planet X is real existence. Um, its rotation in the solar system is every 20,000 years to enter the orbit into our solar system. Uh, many past civilizations and cultures have spoke about the planet coming into our solar system, causing massive and major catastrophe around the world. Mega earthquakes, mega tsunamis, mega storms, mega volcano eruptions, and much, much more. Uh, you can research that throughout uh, looking on YouTube and other things on the internet. Uh, many people have, of history in modern day speculate that the... the uh, planet being a giant gas planet, if it was in, ignited, would be a second sun to our solar system. Also, the planet uh, in its path through our solar system could collide with Earth or Jupiter. If Planet X was to collide with Jupiter, we would have three suns in our solar system due to the ignition of both Planet X and Jupiter, causing the incineration of Earth and all its life. Another speculation is Planet X could collide with Earth and end life as we all know it. Now, after enlightening you with all that knowledge, think about what is happening right now in the world, and has been. They say upon the coming of the ninth planet, sea and land creatures will die in historical numbers, volcanoes will start waking up, seas will start changing dramatically, weather will start changing its normal patterns, tectonic plates and cratons will shift more than usual. Um, I truly believe that the past five years, the Earth we all live on has been waking up from its deep sleep of hibernation since the last visit of Planet X, preparing itself for what is coming. The strange noises heard around the world, I believe, are not coming from the sky, but inside the Earth, echoing and amplifying in the sky from the inner Earth's movements. Best way to put it into terms so you can all understand what I mean is basically go the day without eating and listen to your stomach. Um, that, I truly believe, would be the uh, understanding of what we're hearing around the world. Uh, all those sounds that people keep hearing. I think it's rumbling. It's the belly of the beast gurgling and waking up, coming up from a deep sleep. Um, the, the inner core of our earth is starting to shift and shake and the poles are changing and things are going on inside our earth that we may or may not be aware of um i have to do a little more research to find out if this is i mean this could all like i said this is all speculation and who knows it's my theories on things um on a side topic uh if you're interested in before i get into the next side topic if you're interested in looking up to see if any of this stuff could be or is real or further into what I've already researched and found out and why I'm talking on this video because my videos are things that I've found out and researched that found out are truths from, like I said, Caltech, NASA, and other world organizations. I research and find out the truths just to let people know that are interested in hearing about it. Okay, on a side topic, to do with all the uh, sea life washing up dead and alive all over the shores around the world, I have a few theories about it. First, it could be due to the arrival of Planet X and the changes it brings to our planet and our solar system. Absolutely. Uh, second, it could be prehistoric creatures of the seas we yet have not discovered or haven't seen for thousands of years believing to have existed, but in fact they've been hiding, waiting to come and out and reclaim their once ruled world and let themselves be known. Um, they say that the Megalodon could possibly still exist. I mean, far-fetched, but we haven't discovered, what, 80% or something like that of our oceans? We have no idea what's in there. I mean, we could have tons of things. That, to me, um, I believe that's what could be pushing these creatures off the seas. I mean, they're being chased from their habitat onto land because something bigger and nastier is attacking them. Um, 
it's yet to be seen if a bunch of sharks would come up, I believe, off the coast of Australia or somewhere down in that area or somewhere over there. Um, there was a beach full of sharks, and for sharks to come up on land, something big would have to be chasing them. They wouldn't, I mean, they, they could chase schools of fish and beach themselves, but to have hundreds of sharks or multiple amounts of sharks coming up on shores, dead and alive, something's chasing them, I believe. Um, let's see, what else? I would say that, uh... My third theory here of everything could be uh, the stupidity of the human species polluting our seas and land with all the chemicals and bullshit we've invented to make life easier for humans. I mean, after all, that is what's destroying our planet every day and has been for hundreds of years and will continue to do so until our planet runs dry of all its resources. So, I mean, those are my thoughts and views on what's been going on. Uh, the fact that... Um, I was saying earlier about this Planet X thing, I mean, Caltech, NASA, and other organizations have all confirmed Planet X is real. It does exist. It is in its way of orbit on, through our solar system. Um, it's coming up around the 20,000 year mark of it being in here. And uh, going through with the Mayans and Biblical and other things uh, that I've researched, they have all have the same stories about this planet. It comes into our solar system and it causes, like I said, major earthquakes, uh, mega tsunamis and storms and volcanoes of epic proportions. And if you saw my video from the other day, the seismic activity that's been happening around the world in the last few days, specifically on that one day in my video that I said, there was over 800 seismic activity areas around the world, probably even more. Uh, I watched a video and researched up on uh, the internet of the seismic activity and they had sonic waves from where all the eruptions and uh, activity were happening and our whole world was shredded with sonic waves everywhere, uh, big and small. So... I mean, if you're uh, someone that's big into uh, wondering why what, what's happening in the world and why all this stuff is all of a sudden happening, I mean, we, what is it, New York area just had a major snowstorm of two feet. I mean, it's not unheard of. I mean, we've had it before. Other states have even worse. But after the weather we've been having this winter of not barely having any snow, I mean, it is a possibility of getting that much snow at one point. But, I mean... New England was supposed to get hammered all along, but it was mostly all the coast. New Hampshire, I live in Hillsborough, and that's right around the Concord area, and I didn't see anything. There was no snow, nothing. I mean, we had a little bit of breeze and cold air, but that's it. And we were expected to get just as bad as New York in such areas. So, I mean, a lot of stuff's happening out there right now with the weather patterns. Uh, like I said, I think in one of my previous videos about 100-foot waves... Uh, buoys that are detecting a four foot drop in the ocean's level um, and it was recorded that there was no openings in the bottom of the ocean there was no land drops or sinkholes or anything uh, the water dropped four feet where did the water go why did it drop those are questions a lot of people have scientists as well as people on the norm uh, I don't really know I mean there's plenty of things we could think about I mean you've got planetary alignments happening you've got all this catastrophic weather and hey it's kind of funny that we're coming up on the 20,000 mark of planet X and we're having a planetary alignment uh, who knows how long it's going to be before planet X actually visits us but I mean, it's it's coming, or at least that's what they all say. Um, it is proven it's out there. Um, we are coming up on the 20,000 mark. Who knows? Maybe that's what's caused catastrophe, catastrophe in the past that's caused us to lose civilizations and have them crumble and fall when they were far more advanced than we were, but yet their civilizations crumbled and disappeared. Um, that just doesn't happen overnight for no reason. There had to be something cosmic or extraterrestrial or 
who knows? I mean, obviously the people that died saw it for a flash of an instant, but, I mean, they couldn't write a story about it. So, I guess it's all speculation, conspiracy, and whatever other names you want to put into it. But, uh, if you have any questions, comments, or things that you'd like to add in and let me know about, or let people of my uh, that subscribe to my channel know about, please feel free to uh, comment on my page and, you know, give me a shout. Uh, thanks for watching, and subscribe to see more videos.